These are the latest infrared pictures taken by pilots of the U.S. Customs Service of what is going on night after night in the air over the Bahamas. Planes from Colombia making airdrops of duffel bags of cocaine. Dropped another bag. Worth millions and millions of dollars. The Black Moses is the story of Elo Pinling, the first black prime minister of the Bahamas. And the story of Elo Pinling is essentially the story of the birth of a nation. We closed the 10th annual Bahamas International Film Festival, making us the first Bahamian film and documentary to do so. Well, it's kind of a documentary. <laughs> Whether you're pro-pinling or anti-pinling, we made this movie for you. Both opposing party personalities have seen this at the festivals, and both liked it. Like most Black Moseses, the movie is basically a one-man show, a show put on by actor Dennis Haysburg. Dennis plays the mythical Black Moses who surfaces to tell his story through the life and times of Pinley. And as a storyteller, he also enlists help from a choir of local and world leaders who knew Pinley. It's a narrative that could have been told through the life and times of many others, namely Mandela, King, Nayeri, Kenyatta, and Burnham, many of whom were Pinley's contemporaries, because in the words of civil rights icon Andrew Young, they were brothers. Uh, brothers in spite of the distance of miles and oceans. This production took us to some dark and despairing places, but it also took us to some hopeful and brilliant places. And it brought to us some pretty classified material, much like the material you're seeing right now. I think the Bahamas is the most corrupt place in the world. This man is well known to American authorities, a smuggler in the Bahamas who agreed to be interviewed on the condition his face not be shown. I think. So you're saying that your mirror has two faces. Is this why you're finally showing your face? Well, technically, I haven't yet. <laughs>